Liberty Stefan presents Let's learn with hot dog counting and calculating Hot dog the dog is at the beach today and he has brought everything he needs for his holiday How many buckets shovels bath towels suntan tubes and beach umbrellas can you count Hmm well we can count one beach umbrella one shovel one bucket one bath towel and one suntan tube How many clouds do you see in the sky Hmm we can see two clouds What a beautiful day to spend on the beach Hot dog goes jogging in the countryside and enjoys watching all the farm animals. Do all the animals you see here have four legs? Let's see. It doesn't look like they all have four legs. Which ones don't have four legs? Well, the hen, the rooster, and the duck. Hands up. Hot dog is playing the cowboys and Indians game with his friends. How many feathers do they have on their heads? The first friend has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 feathers. And the second one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 feathers. How many trees can they hide behind? One, two, three, four, five. They can hide behind five trees. Poor hot dog. I'm sure it won't be easy for him to find them. Hot dog has invited all his friends to his birthday. How old is hot dog? Well, to have the answer, all you have to do is count the candles on the birthday cake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. He is eight years old. Now count the guests. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There are seven guests. Hot dog is so lucky to have all these gifts. Night has fallen. Hot dog is watching the stars. How many of them can you count? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We can count nine stars. If you count the stars and the moon, what is the number that you will obtain? Let's see. We have nine stars and one moon. We will obtain the number ten. Hot dog and his classmates participate in a race. Each competitor wears a round number, a dozen, ranging from 10 to 100. Can you show the 10 competitors in ascending order? Well, we start with number 10, then 20, then 30, then 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and finally 100. Then show the mate who has decided not to participate in the race. There he is. Why isn't he participating in the race? Because he has a broken leg, the poor little thing. I hope he'll recover soon. Hot dog would like to know if each squirrel can eat a hazelnut and each bird a cherry. In other words, are there more, as many, or less hazelnuts than squirrels? Let's count the hazelnuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we have one, two, three, four, and five squirrels. So each squirrel can easily eat one hazelnut. And are there more, as many, or less cherries than birds? Hmm. Let's count the birds. One, two, three, four, 
five, and six. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight cherries. So the birds can easily have their cherries too. Hot Dog and Lola played darts. They have just finished the game and each one of them has thrown his five darts. Each dart has reached a zone that corresponds to a number, with the white zone corresponding to zero. Add up, for each player, the zones hit by the darts and find who got the highest result. Hot Dog's points are 0, plus 7, plus 8, plus 8, plus 9. That equals 32. Lola's points are 3, plus 7, plus 7, plus 9, plus 0. That equals 26. So Hot Dog has beaten Lola and he is the winner. How strong he is! Hot Dog, Charlotte and Mike are having a walk in the orchards and are going to pick some fruits. Hot Dog will pick three apples, Charlotte four plums and Mike six pears. Calculate how many fruits will be left on each tree. Let's count the fruits in the trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten apples. Hot dog picks three of them. So the remaining quantity is ten minus three equals seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plums. Charlotte picks four of them, so the remaining quantity is 8 minus 4 equals 4. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pairs. Mike picks 6 of them, so the remaining quantity is 9 minus 6 equals 3. Hot Dog hasn't revised his calculation lesson and is now being quizzed by the teacher. Whisper the answers to him if you can and help him to complete the calculations that are on the board. Say in a loud voice the plus sign or the minus sign that is missing. 10 plus 3 equals 13. 10 plus 10 equals 20. 20 minus 10 equals 10. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 9 minus 2 equals 7. 10 minus 2 equals 8. And 50 plus 50 equals 100. Well, you are really good at sums. See you soon in the next volume of the series.